Yo, what's going on everyone, Ufo here, and today, as you guys can probably tell by the title, we are going to be doing some Clash Royale myth busting. So, yes, I actually got some myths here, and we're going to test them out, see what happens, and yeah, we're going to do two things. We're either going to confirm the myth, or we're going to bust the myth. So, yeah, should be really awesome, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you do, make sure you guys leave a like on my video, and of course, subscribe if you have not already. All that good stuff, and that actually brings us into our first myth here, and that is... Does leaving a like on Ufo's videos get you a legendary card? So a bunch of people have left comments obviously saying, Hey, I liked your video and I got a legendary card. And you guys have known this for quite a while, but some people are a bit skeptical about it and they want proof. So I told two of my friends to like my videos. And yeah, this all happened today. So I told them to like the video. Later on, you guys can see now from these screenshots, one of them got a lumberjack, which is epic. And another one got a sparky out of a silver chest. So yes, this first myth here, leaving a like on Ufo's video does get you a legendary card. It's confirmed at this point. You guys can see now there's proof and everything more than just comments. So you guys better leave a like on my video if you want a legendary card. Otherwise, you're just missing out. Rest of us over here getting legendary cards. So yeah, no, but for real guys, let's jump into the video now. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like and subscribe. It does help a lot. So thank you to you guys. And yeah, let's jump into it here. So the second myth here is if you clone spell a troop that's frozen, is the clone also frozen? So this one's actually a very interesting one. And we did it with the Sparky because with the Sparky, you can also see the charge it has. And yeah, you guys are seeing in the gameplay, obviously the Sparky is going down the lane and then boom, he's get frozen. And then I clone it. And you guys can actually see now the clone is not frozen, but the charge is reset on it. Fair enough. You know, technically myth busted, mm. but wait a second, because I thought, okay, what happens if it we do it at the same time? So, you know, he freezes the trooper and then i clone it all at the same time what happens and this one is actually very interesting so you guys can see here now the sparky it goes down the lane we then both you know clone it and freeze it at the same time and the charge doesn't get lost this time around which is bizarre so for some reason cloning it keeps the charge but yeah the troops are then frozen so if you clone it then freeze you keep the charge but if you freeze then clone it loses the charge I don't know it's weird so yeah really interesting mechanics there technically that myth is busted though we're gonna be moving on into the next myth here which is you can get a legendary card from a free chest so this one actually kind of has two parts to it as well so the first one is can you get a legendary card from a free chest and yes you actually can as you guys can see from the screenshot here this dude managed to get a lumberjack out of a free chest i personally have gotten a lava hound out of a free chest before so yes you can do it you don't need to be extremely lucky you can also get epic cards out of a free chest i don't know how many people know that but yeah you can get epic cards as well from a free chest and the second part to this myth and this one is probably the more interesting part is can you actually get two legendary cards out of one chest and the answer again to this is yes you can yeah you guys know recently they brought out this draft chest and in this draft chest it's actually a really good example you can see this happening so my one that i got personally you guys can see i got the option to pick two of the same legendary card so that's technically me getting two legendary cards out of one chest but this can actually also go the other way where you actually get two different legendary cards as you guys are seeing from this screenshot so these are both both confirmed it's sure you can get two legendary cards in two different ways from the same chest and now let's move on into the unlimited clan battles chest glitch arena whatever you want to call it and yeah this one is really interesting so pretty much you guys can see from the screen now i just finished the clan battle chest and i went to go and create a new clan once i've created this clan you guys can see the clan chest got reset although it says i'm not a part of it you guys will see now we are actually starting to complete this clan chest so obviously we were there like does this mean you can get unlimited clan battles like chests because you know you don't need to keep filling it up to tier 10 creating a new clan filling it up to tier 10 over and over again and yeah you guys can see now the results of it when we actually got to tier 10 it just didn't do anything it just changed to you know done and although it registers our crowns and everything that we got for that clan chest it just said done we didn't actually get the chest so unfortunately that myth is busted mm. which is very sad moving on here 
And this one is actually more of a tip slash trick than a myth, but it's you can actually see how many gems you've bought or how many gems you got for free. Now, normally if you tap your gems, it doesn't work. Like, you know, it just tells you, hey, you can use your gems to buy stuff pretty much and open up chests early, which really doesn't give you that much information. But if you actually go to your settings and change your language to the one I'm changing it to, the way how I remember this is the first letter kind of looks a bit like an capital a or an eight however you want to look at it like a digital eight once you change your language to this and then you press like okay you can actually tap the gems and then it, you can see now it gives you a more detailed breakdown so you guys can see on the screen now that first number there that's the amount of gems i've brought obviously it says the number there that's how many i brought then the number below it is the number i got from free to play so these are just out your free chest your crown chest you know gems pretty much that you get for free and then finally the final number is your total that's just a more detailed breakdown and it is a really cool feature inside clash royale i don't know why it only works for this language but yeah if you guys want to see how many you know gems you have and the breakdown for it you can now can and yes i am a filthy gemmer don't judge me and yeah for a final myth here if both players destroy a tower at the same time in overtime does the game continue and yeah you guys have probably seen from the gameplay on the screen here we're into overtime and me and this guy we both destroy each other's towers at the exact same time and the game does continue and that's really weird and something else as well to keep in mind is you can actually tie a game by you guys both three crowning each other essentially if you do it at the exact same time it takes a lot of timing and is very hard to do but yes you can actually tie a game by three crowning each other or you can just make a game continue if you both take the tower at the exact same time in overtime which is really bizarre and interesting but really awesome at the same time so yeah guys that was some clash royale myth busters for you guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you did make sure you guys leave a like of course subscribe if you haven't already and if you guys actually have any of your own myths you want me to test out and you may be featured in a future video let me know in the comment section and yeah like I said, hopefully you enjoy it. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you guys take care, brush your hair, and peace out. Yeah.